Hey, welcome back to Streamline Entertainment is Marvin speaking. I hope everyone's having a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, I'd just like to say sorry about the sound quality. Um, I am waiting for um, a new mic, a new equipment towards the end of the month and um, to revamp the channel because obviously it's growing very, very quickly. So please bear with me. It should be a better tone now because I've had a look at it, but um, I am waiting for new equipment. And once again, thank you for the new subscribers and the old subscribers um, as well. Uh, a couple of things. Um, MMO Tarot, motive means and opportunities. People ask me about obviously the person in the boot of the car, which um, it might have been Jay and the messages she's received. So she's the YouTuber, mmo.tarot, T-A-R-R-O-T, motive means plus the, you know, obviously plus sign opportunity. So I'll read it one more time. mmo.tarot, motive means and opportunities. Brilliant channel. Just another thing I was listening to, a great YouTuber, Tales of Life, do subscribe to him. And uh, he was just on about mediums and stuff. And uh, the one that Wax filtered in. There are some good ones, there are some bad ones. Um, the one that Wax covered, I'm not 100% I believe in everything that she actually says. Um, 11 11 true crime she's absolutely brilliant and I think she's spot on MMO Tarot as well I think she's absolutely brilliant but I do go along with what Tales of Life have said um, do subscribe to him as well um, he, he's very very honest and just come up, come up with some valid points as well I do agree that um, some of the mediums I wouldn't say talk rubbish but um, it's hard to take them seriously. But there are some brilliant ones which I have mentioned. So we're just going to go into some of the messages. This is an interesting one. True Crime was taken. Uh, True Crime Eleven Eleven was taken off air by YouTube for what uh, she said. Overlook. I think it was about the watches. I think it was for showing a video of Ayup and rapper Miss Nasty in a room with other people talking about expensive watches. I think she just got warned because is back on air. Wow, you've got to be ever so careful um, what you're writing. What makes it, and these are other messages about the three videos. Um, if they're not in sequence, so just please bear with me. What makes all this more sinister is these evil parasites turned up at Jay's funeral. What was Lucy doing across from the pub, gloating and just making sure Jay was six foot under? What toxic evil people would do that? Lucy should be in prison for life, meaning life. Uh, she is in danger to society. She is a danger to society and have many other kids as she killed just stealing them drugs. Thank you very much. It's, it's so deep. I feel passionately and sometimes really frustrated that um, they can gloat and look in and come back on air on social media and be able to discuss everything freely thinking that they're in the clear. And this is what I've said yesterday in my videos that they think they're in the clear. Someone else said, Tom took the bag. This is another cover up part true. Um, if he did take the bag and just went off with it, maybe that's why there was a lot of commotion um, on the beach. Maybe Jay tried to get it back. And obviously I think Tom was there with his brother and friends as well. I truly believe that. Someone else says, this sounds like Brandon, how vindictive evil they are. It makes me sick. It does, it, it, you know, it, it makes me frustrated. But I think now people, I have gone back over old ground, but I think I, I need now to just pinpoint information, which is new information to, I think with, with the YouTubers, I think we're 80% there, but the timeline, I think personally is very, very crucial when Jay left that club. 
and I do think people have got more information and are slowly, slowly, slowly coming forward, but we need more. Uh, nice work, your videos are always insightful. Once again, um, I am waiting for new equipment at the end of the month and to revamp the channel so it would be a lot clearer and better, but um, please bear with me. Someone else said, I believe Jay was spiked and thought he was getting in a taxi. That's possible. Um, I just think that um, he was worse for wear. I don't think he was getting a taxi. I think that um, he tried to get home via the beach and was ambushed from there. I really do think that. And like I said, I do think it was um, a, a bit of a setup. Someone else said, if the GoFundMe got too hot, the debt could be paid by the value of Jay's body. That's very, very true. Um, I do think uh, Debbie knows a little bit more than what she was letting on, but she didn't want a big commotion. And I hope they use the money. I'm sure they have got a private investigator helping them, and I hope they use the money to find uh, more truth into what happened to, to Jay. Someone else has a lot of information coming up about Tom Hilton. He didn't lose the bag. Tom Hittle took it off him in the rave. I think Jay was surprised that um, maybe Tom Hilton was there and his boys. And I think he knew something was going to happen and panicked. And all his friends knew Tom Hilton. Maybe they didn't know Tom Hilton was actually going to be there. But when they actually turned up, they were scared. And I think they knew something big was going to happen. Someone else says, thank you for keeping going on this, Marvin. Um, thank you very much. Um, I am going to fight to the end, but I do think now um, we do need crucial information and, and timeline. I think that's very, very important because we can't keep going back over old ground. I do believe that, and a lot of people have said that to me. You have only to see Lucy's post on Tattle Life, to see she doesn't give a toss. This is my, this is what I've said. Believe Brad was involved in the fight until his mum, Rach, intervened. These drug souls really don't give a toss. Someone else says, and it's sad to see young people just showing no consideration. Jay went there is a 19 year old young kitty man who wanted the good times and expected his friends to take care of him. Uh, Arctic Nick, um, one of my good people who helps me out on the channel. Well done, Marv. Roman was the last person to see watching Jay and twice the age of the party goes, goers. He most certainly did not fit in and was also seen on the phone in the background of Warren's recent Twitter video visible over Zach's shoulder. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know if Warren knows what Roman looks like, but it appears that Roman was also keeping an eye on him and Zach too as well as earlier. Yeah, I truly believe that. I go along with that. Um, definitely, definitely very, very strange character. Doesn't say a lot, but looks dodgy as anything. Normally, someone else went on to say, normally in a situation of crime, the early information is the most reliable as with all situations, stories grow arms and legs due to everyone putting out their own account or theories. Either way, it's gone, it's gone on so long and I hope that one day the truth will be learned. I think we will get the truth. I think we've got a lot of it, but a lot of it we've had to work out ourselves. Um, those messages that were given to MMO Tarot, I think a lot of them were legit. I'm not saying uh, basically they all made sense because some of them didn't about the Airbnb. Um, I do I do think there's some discrepancies in those messages um, about the Airbnb, um, what that person says, but there's a lot of credibility in those messages. So please go to mmo.tarot um, because you can actually see that video in, in, in full. There were loads more messages on there as well, but obviously, because um, I like to keep my video sometimes under 20 minutes, um, you can actually go there, but it's very, very frightening, some of the messages um, that she actually received about the Jay Slater case. Someone else says, that picture makes me go cold. When I listen to MMO um, MMO Tarot about the messages 
it took things to the next level where it was creepy, it made my hair stand on ends, and it was scary. And I believe um, there was a lot of truth in that at the end of it. And she's someone who, you know, who takes her tarot reading very, very, very seriously. And there's a lot of truth in what she said. Some of, them I, some of them I believe in, some of them I don't. It's as simple as that. This is interesting. Hi Marvin, Jay's phone pinged near the ravine and close to a secluded beach. At 8.44 a.m. the Maruba, Maruba's location pinged at 8.56 a.m. and sent by the same communication transmitter mass 12 minute gap between the location pings. So we have two different sources of a locations log and very local in the space of 12 minutes. This is brilliant. I believe this is a mistake of their lives. However, a fact of real time solid data in the timeline. This can be explained at Lucy's mix up of times, i.e. 8.15, 8.30 a.m. that morning. Thank you, Marvin, for your content. I pray for justice for Jay and this is family. Well brought up, that's very, very true. We know that um, in certain newspapers, there's about four or five times <laughs> Lucy have come up with information, um, but we know the information she gave isn't very, very credible. And she's very, very vague in her, she, she doesn't really give any times, doesn't give any, really any dates, and it's very vague what she says as those that she's been told to say it by someone like Ayup. Someone else said Jay was set up, so a makeup story from his so-called friends by saying Jay stole a watch, this is a cover-up. I think Tom took Jay's bag, revenge attack, Jay did not fall, it was a foul play, just as for Jay, the truth will come out and get the evil not off the street. That's absolutely brilliant. That, so that is what we want, is justice for Jay. A lot of people think that Tom Hilton now, is, um, now we know that he was in Spain, was actually linked to Jay's disappearance. Obviously this is old news now, and this is what I've said, um, and this did come out in the first um, couple of weeks, but why, why I um, put the video back up, I think it's crucial to this actual case, um, these messages. So, and a lot of the, the people that are new to this case should sometimes look back at our old videos to catch up with the case because it will give you more knowledge. So this person went on to say, but it defies belief of Spanish authorities chose to ignore it. I'm sure Jay could have been saved in that first month had be not become such a hot potato, they chose to stick their heads in the sand and hope it would all go away. And in doing so, blew it up and with his chance of survival, along with his chances of survival, should I say. This sounds, it could be kosher. Someone on that island knows exactly what happened and may want to unburden what they know. Some of the South, there was a video of Jay handing his bag over, possibly to Tom Hilton, possibly. So the car from the beach and the man running by the boat, so the boss got Jay to take, up, to take him to the Airbnb to do God knows what. Look, we have been fed a web of lies and deceit, to muddy the whole event. You know the world is a stage and the characters are the actors setting the stage. That is absolutely brilliant. I'm gonna read that out again. So the car from the beach and the men running by the boat. So the boss got Jay to take him to the Airbnb to do God knows what. Look, we have been fed a web of lies and deceit to the muddy, uh, to muddy the whole event. You know the world is a stage and the characters are the actors setting the stage. This was my point about how when young people get into gang life, they're actually doctrinated to only think one way, lie, cheat, have no heart. And it's sad to see Lucy, Brad, Brandon, not so much Brandon, I, I, think, I think Brandon is scared to say something, but I think Brad and Lucy are well in with the game. I think Brandon knows what's going on, but maybe he doesn't want maybe he doesn't want to be involved. But if Jay was his best mate, he should put the truth out there, but maybe he's been threatened not to. 
I don't think that someone else wants to say I don't think that the man at the rave who everyone is saying is the ex-mayor is Roman Martin Caveras I think he's older than that and if he's Ophelia's brother there's a big age difference he could be her son possibly possibly he could be the son or a relative you know we could be a nephew um, I think we just need some more information but I do actually think that really looks like him Someone on, went on to say the picture in the boot, there's a video at the marina with the guys moving around a car. At one point they look to be looking in the boot. I think it looked like it looked like a flash went off, bragging rights, sick, sick people proof. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And don't forget, sometimes I think the people involved in this case have you know have got off it so much that they'll take pictures and messages and put them online because they're stupid enough to do that. Jay would not use the word smart. I think this is all made up. I'm not too sure what that's supposed to mean if anyone wants to comment on that. I remember seeing the stuff at the beginning and it was generally felt to be too extreme. Yet yeah, I agree but I think some of it is true. I really do. Someone else said, why would they send all this inf info to Leon uh, if from the US and someone like Wax or yourself? But I think Leon, you've got to remember people, good point, but Leon was on the case um, uh, a lot more. She was on it before I was. She was on it before I was. And so I can't say that um, maybe people were actually thinking... Uh, maybe the people who sent the messages, should I say, uh, to Leanne, um, trusted her. And like I said, I was pr I was away a lot of the time as well, so I wasn't really on the case as much as what she was. And I think they um, they trusted her in the early days when those messages come out. And someone says, yes, Leanne is great. Thank you. I don't think she covers the case as much. She does put some information out about Jay Slater, but um, she's moved on to other things. But do subscribe to her. She's absolutely brilliant. That could be very well by Jay after he'd been spiked, possibly. Um, possibly injured as well, I think. Someone else said um, that picture was extremely disturbing in the boot. Oh my God. Yeah, it was. It was. I, I do think it's genuine. I really do think it's genuine. Uh, let's look for one more. Someone else says the b and and the masker was a decoy. Thank you very much. Oh, this is quite important, people. Hi, Marvin. The GOA mentioned in the message is Rocky's real name is Jonathan O. Uh, Atanda. Boom. Yeah, this has been out, that name's been out a long time. There are some records that, a uh, criminal record um, uh, information that someone did actually message messaged me um, about a write-up about um, this Jonathan attender. Thank you very much wherever you are in the world and supporting the channel. Uh, once again, subscribe to Streamline Entertainment and uh, message me any information or stories um, about Tenerife and uh, we can always um, put that up as one of our true stories. Thank you very much indeed. Take care wherever you are in the world.